Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have an exciting video from Taco Bell. It seems with us, whenever we go to a fast food restaurant, we always seem to get the same things. It's kind of funny because we have this channel and we do go and try new things all the time. If but it's for a video. If it's for a video, but then when we go out to get something to eat, we just get what we we know we like. Well, especially with fast food. Yeah. Because you know what to expect, right? And it's easy to order. You just run up and t give them the number and that's it. Yeah. But today, we are going to try everything from the Cravings Value Meal at Taco Bell. Cravings Value Menu. Menu. Okay, we also have a drink. Yes, Baja got a Baja Blast. Blast. That is not part of the value menu, but hey. Still needed a drink. Thirsty. Okay, so it's a hodgepodge in here. Hopefully it's accurate. We'll see. The first thing I see is the last thing we're gonna try. I'm gonna leave that in there. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll pull something out and try to figure out what it is maybe. All right, sure. So we've got like seven things here, pretty much. Whatever this is. Okay, that looks a like mess. a burrito. So yeah, we got a couple burritos here. We got a beefy melt burrito, a cheese and cheesy bean and rice burrito, and then there's a fiesta veggie burrito. I feel like this is a cheesy bean and rice. It kind of looks like that. That's what I would think. I too. mean, I see rice and I see cheese and I see beans. Hmm. Hold on. I gotta take another bite. It's mostly tortilla. <laughs> okay. There's kind of what it looks like on the inside. And I actually think that this one is the Fiesta. Veggie. Is this the veggie? Yeah, it's the veggie one. Okay. Do you see black beans? Mm. We'll do this by process of elimination. <laughs> it is a burrito. It's, mm -hmm. it's black tasty. Bean. Okay. Okay, so it looks like lettuce, tomato, black beans, cheese sauce, guacamole, sour cream. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Yeah, little tortilla strips in there. Fiesta veggie burrito, if we're right, we'll we'll let you know here in a second. Two dollars. Yep. Is how much it is. I think that's okay. I yeah, think that's, that's not bad. An it's, okay price. And yeah, it's good. I like it. All right. There you go. How do you feel about, this is a bigger burrito. How do you feel about 570 calories? That's crazy to me that that would be 570 calories. Me too. It's, it's not that big. We always talk about this, right? Like, do we want to spend the money? But also, do we want to spend, it's always important to us, time and calories. Time in particular. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you know what? If you are on a budget or you just want to save money, 570 calories for $2, that's not bad. And no meat. And, and no I, didn't, meat. Yep. I didn't miss it at all. Okay, let's go with another burrito. See if we can figure Here. out which one Process this is. Process of elimination. This one traveled a little better. There's no, no clues hanging around the outside. Uh, the last one, when I went to bite it, I could feel like a soft pocket so I knew there was like sour cream guacamole this one I'm not feeling that okay so mm. I think this is cheesy bean and rice maybe okay it doesn't have as much going on as last one yeah and um, I think only one of the burritos actually has meat in it so mm. There's meat in that one. Okay, so this is the beefy melt burrito. Mm -hmm. Now I can taste the meat. And there's kind of what it looks like on the inside. It's still got those tortilla strips in mm -hmm. it. It's got beef and rice and some cheese, so. Mm -hmm. That meat hits though. It's like the same meat from, I mean, you know, Taco Bell meat. But it's like the Mexican pizza meat. It like hit me on the back end. I like that one. Mm -hmm. I like that one too. That's good. Not Like Laura said, not as much going on with this one, but still flavorful. 
I like it. Two dollars. So same price as the last one. Can I have a drink? Yes. Please. So same price, but this one is more calories. If we're right about which one this is, six hundred and twenty calories. Six hundred and twenty calories for this burrito. Amazing. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to throw some shade to another company that we also love, Crumble. Mm -hmm. If you're listening. Speaking of calories, last night I was looking up to see what the crumble cookies were for the week and it said something like the pink sugar 180 calories I think and I was like that's really great because those crumble cookies are huge and yeah, they're thick and they're 180 calories yeah wow. I was like I'll take 10 then I was like wait a minute that can't be and when I looked into it uh crumble you you do people dirty. A <laughs> single cookie is four servings. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. All right. Um, but that's not what's happening here. This one, I think, I know what it is. Pretty confident. This is the spicy potato soft taco. Spicy potato soft taco. It's $1.00. So, here, I'm going to try to show them. Little potatoes, uh, lettuce, cheese, and I think it's the potatoes is where you get the heat from. Like, they're, they have some kind of spicy seasoning or something. Nice. I've had that before. Mm-hmm. One dollar, 240 calories. That's a bargain. It is. I've had one of these before too. I love them, they're good. What can you buy for a dollar these days? Or a spicy what potato you, soft taco. Or what can you get for 240 calories? Not yeah. much in fast food, that's not right. too bad. I mean, that can't be your lunch, I don't think. I think it's gotta no. be that and something else. But for a buck, you could get a couple of them. Yep. Yeah, you can get a couple of them. Or, you know, one of those burritos. I mean, 620 calories. I mean, that'll do you for lunch for sure. Okay. Now. Uh, this is the Chipotle, Chipotle Ranch, Ranch grilled this, this one's chicken. This one's grilled, you can see. And that's a burrito as well. So we had four burritos. Yeah. All right. I don't love the grilled burritos. It's not my favorite. I don't like how it smells. Yeah, there's and, something about it. And oh. we do quesadillas and stuff like that at home all of the time. Mm -hmm. And I mean, not when we're being good, but in life normally we, we make quesadillas and I don't mind it at home, but for some reason I don't dig it at Taco Bell. I don't know why. There's something about it. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It does get a nice crunch. I like that better than I thought I was going to. I was talking some trash and I shouldn't have been. So when I heard Chipotle Ranch, I thought it was going to be hot, spicy, and it wasn't. Yeah, it's got a little kick, but unless it's got I just didn't get to it yet, you know. Chicken, tomatoes, lettuce, the sauce. I think there's some cheese in there too. That's not my favorite. Yeah. I don't know, John. Show him. No, you ate the bite. I wanted you to show them. Oh my gosh. Okay, show them. It's pretty saucy, gloopy. I don't know. You get tomatoes that are giving off their juice and lettuce that's giving off their juice. Here you go. And pretty soon it gets to be a soggy mess and that's, I don't know. That one's okay. Yeah, I wouldn't that one's get, not my favorite either. I don't think I would get that one. Okay. Almost to the end. This one I know what it is too. Yeah. This little baby. Oh, did we say? I don't think we said. Sorry. The last one. Two dollars. Yeah, two dollars for the grilled chicken burrito. Five hundred and ten calories. Okay, there's this. Otherwise <laughs> known as what my son would make almost every yeah. day for lunch when he was in school. This is a tortilla with cheese and it's 
melted cheese, not cheese sauce. Um, I mean, you know what this tastes like, right? Yeah, I can't believe they have that on their value menu. But it's just a cheesy roll up for a dollar, 180 calories. To me, it's not worth the calories. It's the and cheese. It's worth a dollar, but I'd rather make that at home. And when I do make those kind of things at home, even when we're not on a, a diet or, you know, not even thinking about it, I like to add black beans and onions and like beef it up with some vegetables or yeah. something that's going to stay with you for a while. Right. That single tortilla with just some cheese is not, that, not I it. mean, it's a little something, but it's, it's not enough for lunch, I don't think. Right. Anyway, if you're going to do a dollar, you might as well get like the soft taco or, you know, that cheesy bean and rice burrito, which I think is right here. We haven't even tried it yet. All right. Oh, definitely beans. See the beans. Okay. Which one do we think this is? Cheesy bean and rice. Burrito. This tastes the most like I, I would get this again. Mm. I have a little knock. Let's wait a second. Thank you. That's good. Okay. Just rice, beans, cheese. I know for a fact that I said to you, make sure you grab napkins. Yep. That's my knock. The service at this place. <laughs> she did say grab napkins. Mm -hmm. John went in. Failure. Uh, so anyway, uh, no, my no but seriously, my knock is it's a little spicy for me. I normally get the regular bean burrito. So it's similar to this, but it doesn't have the cheese sauce in it and it doesn't have the rice in it. It's just, you know, well, it does have cheese, but it doesn't have cheese sauce. There's no kick to the one I normally get. This one has a little bit of a kick. Yeah, because you just get a bean burrito usually, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that one is a dollar. A dollar? That is a bargain for yeah. that. Yeah. Because that's very filling with the beans and the rice in it and the tortilla. That's the same price as just cheese in a tortilla. Yeah, right. And it's 420 calories. You're on a budget. 420 calories will get you by. Yeah. Yeah, for, for a lunch buck. Or something. That's, yeah. Yep. That that's the best deal of the day, I think, in yeah. my opinion. I think as so far too. as like that's filling you up and whatever. Yeah. All right, last. Um, I don't think I like these, but it's been a while since <laughs> I've had them. These are cinnamon twists. These it's are the a, ones that were going viral like last year or, or last couple of years on TikTok where they would show that they were like noodles that were fried. Yeah. Here's what I'll tell you. I've said this like before. Pasta. Sorry. I'll continue to say it. Taco Bell is our favorite fast food restaurant. They need to up their dessert game. They yeah. need to have soft serve ice cream and then serve these like over the top, you know, or do soft serve ice cream because Taco Bell has slushes, freezes, and that would be good. You could do little floats. Taco Bell, get with it. And if you start serving ice cream, I'll give you my address for a check. Okay, ready? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. The flavor's okay. That's just not it for me. That's what you get for a dollar. You know what's funny? I like the cinnamon and sugar flavor, but just what the, the twist part tastes greasy to me. It's fried. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, um, it is, but, but it tastes, but not everything fried tastes like that. Mm. That's it. That's the whole value menu, except for there is a combo that we didn't get because it's just a combination of like a drink and a and whatever. So here's something I want to discuss with you that I don't understand. I was looking to see what all they had on their value menu and I don't know 
when we got our first Taco Bell, like how old I was. But I feel like I was in high school or junior high. Okay. When the first Taco Bell came here to where I live. And uh, I feel like a plain soft shell or hard shell taco, I feel like they were the same price, maybe around 49 cents or 59 cents. It might have been cheaper than that when we were kids because we had a Taco Bell when I was a kid, um, but I live somewhere else. So Yeah, John lived in a bigger, he lived near Detroit, so bigger metropolitan area. But, and then I feel like when I was a young adult, I worked in a bar uh, part-time and um, I know for a fact tacos were like, people would go on a taco run and bring them back, you know, to the bar because the one I worked at didn't serve food. They were like 79 cents a piece or 69 cents a piece or whatever. Yeah. You could get a whole mess of them for a couple of dollars. And um, now they are a dollar 69 hmm. each. Hard shell is uh, 170 calories or crunchy is what they call it. And uh, soft is 180. But it made me wonder, why aren't they on the value menu? Yeah. They're a good value for calories and for And they're less price. than $2. Yeah, which some of the things on the value menu were $2. So right. I didn't understand. Uh, something else, my bean burrito that I love, $1.69, mm -hmm. 350 calories. I might switch it up, though. That other one, I thought was a good deal for, 400, was good. Yeah. for 420 calories and you get more. For a dollar? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um... Then I wanted to point out they also have chips and cheese, which I never get that. I no, never, ever, I don't think ever. I've ever gotten chips and cheese there. I much prefer if I have nachos, if we make them at home, or if I go to a restaurant, I want to know is it cheese sauce or is it melted cheese? Because I am a melted cheese nacho girl. Don't give me cheese sauce, it's not the same. And I know that there are people in the world that are the exact opposite of that. I'm okay with that. Um, but I like melted cheese and chips and cheese sauce, like what you get at a baseball game or whatever. That is not it for me. No, not it for you, huh? No. Uh, that is $1.89 and 220 calories. But then what I do think is a good deal, right? Okay. Right. Taco Bell has freezes. So we're talking about regular slushies. We've tried them on our channel before. There's a wild cherry freeze. There's a blue raspberry freeze. There is a Baja Blast freeze, and then you can mix them. You can do Baja and the blue. You can do the blue and the wild cherry. And let me tell you, those wild cherry freezes and blue raspberry or the mix or the, yeah, all of them are a dollar. What to bargain? Isn't that a bargain for? It is. That's less than a soda. Yeah. Or yeah. a pop or, what you know, whatever you call it where you live. They're a, a buck. I mean, it's not this size, but it's probably this size for a dollar. That's a great deal. Yep. And then, like I said, you can mix them. So the wild cherry freeze is 150 calories. That doesn't seem bad for... For like a slushy drink or a dessert or something like that. Or for like a that. soda. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, right. It, I mean, that's a better... I mean, I understand it's because there's more ice in it and whatever, but... The um, blue raspberry, if that's your thing, a dollar and 120 calories. Wow. And then Baja Blast, which is a lot of people's favorite, 160 calories. Um, the Baja mixed with blue is 170. I mean, and that's the most expensive one, calorie wise. Right, right. I don't know. I thought that was a deal. Interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. More, I mean, less than calories you would spend for a soda and it feels like a dessert right yeah look at the hiccups we'll have to keep that in mind for the future so anyway this was fun this is this is a weeknight so did you notice me if you noticed me <laughs> grabbing the burritos away from john it is a weeknight we are trying we are taking a bite or two and now we are off to grocery shop yep we haven't been there in a couple of weeks so we're gonna go see what's new this was fun. It was fun. What was your favorite thing? Um, let me Did take a look at the list again. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I I like a lot of them. The spicy potato soft taco is one of my favorites. It's a dollar in 
the flavor is really good with it. And that's, and I'll tell you, I'll just weigh in on that, that is not my favorite. It's mm. potatoes, it's a little bit spicy, and I, I mean, I think it's a good deal for a dollar, but yeah, I wouldn't spend my calories there. I think I liked that beefy milk burrito. That was really good. Okay. I like that. I, as much as I didn't think I was going to like the grilled thing, and I said I didn't like the typical grilled things at Taco Bell, I liked that one just fine, and I really liked that cheesy bean burrito. Yeah, cheesy bean and rice or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. So. I would eat any of that stuff. Even the, you know, the, uh, what was it, Fiesta veggie burrito. That was good. I liked it. The black, black beans were good and it had a lot of flavor. And obviously with the calories that would come with it, um, you know, you could definitely have it for a meal. I do love that Taco Bell does a good job of on their menu. They I mean, you can get anything at almost any restaurant. You know, you can get a Big Mac without the burger if that's what you want to. But Taco Bell does a good job of not just removing meat from food to make it good. They have specialty things like that potato um, taco. I think that's the only place they use those potatoes. It might be. Um, they used to have the bowl with the little cheese on them, but yeah, they got rid of that for a while for whatever reason. But I guess what I'm saying is they have a whole section of their menu that's dedicated to vegetarian options, yeah. and I think that's great. Uh, so I think that's all we have for today. Yeah. Come find us on Instagram if you haven't already. We would love to have you join us over there. Love and junk with no D. And then come to the comments of this video and let us know what your favorite thing is at Taco Bell. Because I don't think we would have ever tried any of these things. And I know I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. I am a Mexican pizza with a uh, bean burrito girl. Yep. John gets tacos. Yep. <laughs> that is what we get like every time. So every time. I don't think we would have tried any of those things, but I'm I'm glad that we did and I might Me switch too. it up in the future. I know. So but I let might us too. but let us know if you have a go to and what that is. And then make sure you're subscribed to our channel if you haven't already. We'd love to have you join us along with our other channels where we do other things. Links to everything down in the comments of this video. Now if you love Taco Bell or fast food in general or us or the video give this video a big thumbs up it really helps our channel grow when you do that that's all we have for today that's it guys we'll see you next time bye